The Tejas MK2 also stands out for its evolutionary approach to maintenance and operational readiness. HAL engineers have designed the aircraft with modular systems in mind, meaning crucial components such as radar, avionics, and flight control units can be replaced quickly in the field. This drastically reduces downtime between missions, a critical factor in combat situations. Additionally, accessibility panels are more strategically positioned compared to earlier versions, allowing technicians to perform regular checks or swaps faster. The airframe itself has been designed to withstand high stress loads during combat maneuvers while maintaining long service life through corrosion resistant materials and advanced coatings. Another major focus area is the digital backbone of the Tejas MK2. The flight control system features a quadruplex digital fly-by-wire system that ensures stability and precise maneuverability, even during high-G maneuvers. Data fusion technology allows inputs from radar, infrared sensors, and electronic warfare systems to merge into a unified situational picture for the pilot. This reduces workload and improves response time during dogfights or ground attack missions. The onboard mission computer is being built to handle artificial intelligence-assisted decision-making tools in the future, paving the way for partial autonomy and threat assessment and weapon deployment. The human-machine interface has also been reimagined with pilot comfort and efficiency at its core. The wide-area touchscreen display provides an integrated view of all flight and mission parameters, while the helmet-mounted display projects critical information directly into the pilot's line of sight. This eliminates the need to look down at instruments during combat. The cockpit's design adheres to international ergonomic standards, ensuring minimal fatigue during long missions. Moreover, environmental control systems inside the cabin are designed for high-altitude comfort and stable temperature control, even in extreme conditions. When it comes to weapons versatility, the MK2's configuration has been fine-tuned to accommodate both indigenous and imported armaments. It can carry Astra beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, precision-guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and air-to-ground munitions, making it a truly multirole platform. HAL and DRDO are also developing new indigenous smart weapon systems, which will integrate seamlessly with the aircraft's mission computers. The inclusion of a laser designator pod and electro-optical targeting system means the aircraft can engage ground targets with remarkable precision, enhancing its strike capability. Fuel efficiency and range have received a considerable boost with a redesigned internal fuel system. The MK2 carries nearly 60% more fuel internally than the MK1, complemented by conformal and external drop tanks for extended range. This allows longer patrols and deep strike missions without the need for frequent refueling. Coupled with the more powerful and fuel-efficient F-414 engine, the aircraft offers both better thrust-to-weight ratio and improved endurance. The in-flight refueling capability further extends its operational radius, a critical advantage for missions over vast maritime zones or mountainous borders. From an industrial and strategic perspective, the Tejas MK2 represents India's growing confidence in indigenous defense manufacturing. The project brings together hundreds of domestic suppliers across avionics, composite materials, and precision engineering sectors. It not only strengthens the aerospace ecosystem but also reduces dependency on foreign suppliers. The government's continued investment through the Defense Research and Development Organization and HAL shows a long-term commitment to self-reliance. This ripple effect contributes to skill development, job creation, and technological innovation across the country's defense and civil aviation sectors. Finally, Looking beyond the technicalities, the Tejas MK2 is a symbol of national ambition and pride. It signifies India's emergence as a nation capable of designing, developing, and producing sophisticated fighter jets on par with global standards. While it still faces challenges in timelines and production scalability, the progress so far is a testament to the determination of Indian engineers and scientists. When it eventually takes to the skies in full operational capacity, the Tejas MK2 will not only strengthen India's air power but also mark a milestone in the country's journey toward defense autonomy and technological excellence.